Today we're going to look at how we can use scientific notation to help us represent uh, really big numbers. So if you have a look at a number like this, 2578 you know, the number of zeros there, it's really hard to just get at a glance a picture of how big this number is. But if you wrote it in scientific notation, which is this, it actually is much easier to see at a glance how big that number is. So let's explore scientific notation in a little bit more depth, and you'll see what I'm meaning by this. When we want to write any number, we can turn any number into a number in scientific notation, but we really are today only going to be working with big numbers and turning them into scientific notation. What you want to do is you want to get it into a form like this, a comma something times 10 to the power of some exponent. And this a, right, the thing before the comma must be a number somewhere from 1 through to the number 9. So it must, can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. It has to be one of those to be in your standard form of scientific notation. Now, before we start looking at actual scientific notation, I just need us to remember one important thing. Once we've got this, we can do anything with scientific notation, which is what does it mean to multiply a decimal by 10? So let's jump to the side, look at that, and we'll come back to scientific notation. Okay. This is the main stuff we need to know in order to be able to work with scientific notation. How to multiply a decimal by 10. We've done this before, so let's just quickly remember, right? If I say 5,78 multiplied by 10, remember that what the effect of multiplying by 10 was, was to change the place value. In other words, if we multiply by 10, we're just going to shift that comma, and we're going to get 57,8. If we multiply by 10 squared, now this is the other thing you've got to remember, 10 squared, what does that mean? It means multiply by 10 and then another 10. So what you've got to do here is multiply by 10 and then by another 10, and so you will get your answer 578. If you're talking about 10 cubed, it's 10 times 10 times 10, right? So we've got to multiply by 10, multiply by another 10, and then multiply by the third 10, put a zero in there, and so we will have 5, 7, 8, 0. Oh. And if we multiply by 10 to the power of 4, well, it's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So we multiply by 1, 10, 2, 10s, 3, 10s, 4, 10s, and the comma ends up over there. So we get 5, 7, 8, 0, 0. Okay, once we've got that, Scientific notation is simple as anything. Okay, let's see how we could write something like that in scientific notation. Now remember, with scientific notation, you want to have uh, a number, comma, a digit, comma, something, times 10 to some exponent. So what you're going to want to have here is you want to want to turn this big number into 6, comma, 215 times by 10 to some power, right, some exponent. Well, what power are we going to have to multiply by? Well, it'll have to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 tens we multiply by. So we're going to have 6, 215 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 will be exactly the same number as that big number we saw originally up there. Okay, I want you to try one now. In your homework books, do turn this number here into ex scientific notation. Pause the video now and quickly do it. Okay, so you want it to be written as 4, 3, 2 multiplied by some power of 10. What power of 10? Well, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is 4, 3, 2 times 10 to the power of 8. Okay, going backwards is even easier. If we had something like 5, 0, 1, 2 times 10 to the power of 5, and we want to just write it in good old normal notation, then all we have to do is do the multiplication, right? And so we just have to multiply by 10 to the 5. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
putting in two zeros there and the comma comes there. So we have 501200 written normally. So we can work just as well with small numbers in scientific notation. If we have something like this, 0, 0,00000302, and we want to put it into scientific notation, <coughs> again, just like before, we want to have 3,02 multiplied by 10 to some power. And we've got to figure out what the power is. Well, to get from 3,02 to where we started, we need to divide by 10, another, 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 another. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times we've divided by 10. So it's going to be 10 to the power of minus 7, right? Why minus 7? Well, remember, when we have a negative exponent, it's just like saying 3, 0, 2 divided by 10 to the 7. Right, So that's why you have your negative exponent when you've got a 0, 0, 0, 0, whatever. So here's a number in perfect scientific notation because you've got 7, 9, and it's multiplied by 10 to the negative 4. So what is that number equal to if you want to put it in expanded form? Well, you've got a multi you're going to be dividing by 10 four times. So it's 1, 2, 3, Four, and there the comma will go. So you'll have 0, 0,00079 is the same as 0, 7, 9 times 10 to the minus 4. All right, just check you've got it. Uh, put this number here into scientific notation. Pause the video now. Do this in your key concepts book. Okay, so you wanted to get it 5, 4, 2. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 5, 4, 2. And you have divided that. Have to divide that by 10 five times to get to 0, 0,000542.